Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little speed test comparison here between the Galaxy A7 2017 and J7 2016. Uh, some people did uh, request this, so we're going to check it out here. Uh, if it's worth it to upgrade to the new uh, A7 from the J7, which I was a big fan of actually. Uh, I thought it was uh, very good in terms of the battery life, uh, as well as the screen. So we're going to have a look at the performance here, see if there's a big difference or if it is very similar. I think uh, we're getting 2 gigs of RAM uh, or 3 gigs in the J7. Uh, Exynos uh, processors obviously very nice and good for the optimization. Slightly newer version of Twitch was here on the uh, the uh, A7, which as you can see, does boot on a little bit faster, uh, and we can just have a look at the software comparison in a bit when we've done the speed uh, test here. So we're going to jump right in and see how they compare here. We have updated everything. So a little bit slow here, starting off on both of them. But the J7 coming back here with a point there. So 1-1. One, one. That was the same. That was the same. That was the same. That was the J7, so I'm going to give it 2-1. I can't believe the J7 would win here. 3-1, a little bit faster again on the J7. Wow. Let's just see if it can carry on here. That was very similar. Uh, we do have as well the Play Store. So J7 is a remarkably well optimized device if you ask me, keeping up here with the newest uh, from Samsung, which is pretty epic overall. Uh, we do have as well some uh, games on here. Uh, let's just see the modern combat. So maybe the new Exynos Pro is a little bit faster when it comes to this, as you can see. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the A phone, which is ready to play. Just a little bit faster, uh, not a massive step up there, really. And again, wow, this one again, just the A7 pipping the J7 by a smidgen. So a little bit faster again here on the left. I guess the main uh, performance differences are going to be just on the games, it seems. Uh, you can see last year's Exynos is still very good when it comes to the basic apps. So, you know, I'm seeing an improvement here at the end of the day on the A7, which is good to see. Uh, we're going to have a look at the GPS reception, see if it is any good on both of them. So we'll just allow access and you can see the J7 very fast here to get a lock and the accuracy seems to be quite nice overall. Uh, the A7 seems to be struggling here maybe because of the metal build. Very impressive stuff here from the J7. Let's just check this is on the uh, full location here, full accuracy. Whoops, I've just turned it off. Oh no, I've not turned it off. Let's just see. High accuracy, as you can see. 
that's nice and I think it's eventually got there but not as fast as the J7 as well as not as accurate so another one to the uh, J7 here and we're just going to check out some web browsing cache has been cleared on both of them uh, so a little bit faster to go into the browser there on the right so let's just click on the link here wow so the J7 is uh, dominating the A7 here and it's like half the price doesn't really make much sense to me so we're going to have a look at Daily Mail go cool. so this bigger page seems to go to the A7 in terms of the screen quality I'd say it's very comparable actually you know I think uh, the J7 still has a marvelous screen uh, the only problem is it doesn't have the auto brightness that you do get with the A series so that uh, is something to consider uh, but you can see the page load seems to be quite comparable here in terms of pulling things down uh, I don't think we get 5G though on the J7 as you can see it's only the 2G but it does remarkably well uh, one more GSM the same so I'm gonna call this a draw here because you know it's just like it's just identical really not a massive uh, step up even the J7 seems to be faster on some of the content there very nice performance uh, we're just going to look at the multitasking, how they compare here. So you can see a little bit faster on the J7 to reload the app there. And again, so they both reload but the J7 seems to recover faster, which is not what you want to see from your new A7. try the games here in fact let's try the camera so you can see I'm just trying to crash them here uh, you can see uh, both of them kind of uh, keep up there which I was quite surprised kept this one in memory the a7 so I think we do have two gigs of RAM in the J7. I'm not 100% sure though. And I think when you do go to the deep level multitasking, you're going to see a bit more difference. But I'm still surprised how the J7 seems to load the thing faster. Because you wouldn't expect that usually. I mean, you can see here it is just behind the the uh, A7. Yeah, so no, both of them aren't keeping the games in memory here, so there's no need to go through all of them. Uh, but you can strongly see, if you've got a J7 uh, 2016 here, not, a, not really a big deal, you know, in terms of the differences here. Uh, not a massive reason to go out there and upgrade, unless you want, you know, the benefits of the A series in terms of the waterproofing uh, we are getting as well. Uh, slightly better camera you know uh, if you take a lot of pictures type C and also uh, you know I think uh, you're getting some nice uh, benefits in terms of the storage as well so let's just double check that I think it's 32 gigs let's just uh, have a look so let's go into device maintenance and uh, let's see yeah, 32 gigs internal storage, so that's quite good for your future proofing. Uh, the J7 does have a, a nice premium chamfering going around the edges here, so it doesn't feel cheap. 
uh, but the back does feel a bit plasticky in comparison. Uh, but as I said, you know, the actual screen is very uh, comparable here. Uh, you will obviously find massive differences in terms of software. I do, I definitely do prefer the newer TouchWiz, which gives you quick access to things like the location, uh, you know, setting. You did see me go into that earlier. Uh, you also get, uh, obviously, your, like, force touch features here. Uh, I think, as well, the camera settings will be a lot more advanced on the... Uh, a phone with the new UI as well so you do get quite a lot of stuff still though on the J7 uh, so not uh, that different really uh, but I do think the camera experience will be better on the A7 so yeah just a quick little comparison here uh, between these two hope you found it helpful and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one cheers